we owe a great debt of gratitude to then General Eisenhower. History owes him a tremendous debt of gratitude. Thanks to him, we have a reservoir of film and photos of the Holocaust, which we would not have had if it hadn't been for him. As a result of his orders, which we'll come to, we had a stack of archival footage that formed the basis of the most graphic, the most powerful, the most compelling evidence in the Nuremberg war crimes trials after the war. At the same time, we have a reservoir of archival footage that speaks eloquent as testimony to refute those who today would deny that there had ever been a Holocaust. As a result of all of this, we have a precedent to serve to this day and which continues to serve in relation to Holocaust era tragedies, and subsequent tragedies, subsequent human rights atrocities, and major events that have happened during the course of the last 65 years. If we today see CNN and other cameras and personnel reporting embedded live among soldiers, among military forces in combat, that can be traced back to General Eisenhower's decisions and orders in April of 1945. If we today can click on to Google Earth and see scenes of tragedies and atrocities unfolding in a place like Darfur, that too can be traced back to General Eisenhower's decisions at that time. 